Hello, I'm Larry Fryer, and welcome to Fortville Feeders. Fortville Feeders is the premier parts handling and feeding system in North America. Fortville Feeders was launched by Michael Krause in 1979, and he started this business in his own garage. We now operate in a 60,000 square foot facility dedicated strictly to parts feeding excellence. Our engineers are expert designers who combine years of parts handling knowledge with the latest technologies. Our toolers are very high skilled craftsmen specializing in parts feeding systems. We have our own in-house machining and milling capabilities including CNC milling, EDM drilling, and water jet direct to print cutting. Let's talk a little bit about the understructure and framework and support systems for our feed systems. These are all standard components for us as far as our systems are concerned. I'm just going to point a few things out. This is our standard frame table that you see here. And you can see it's a little bit thinner frame as far as the support table is concerned because the majority of our mass on our drive unit is in the drive unit itself. Uh, we have forklift tubes here for ease of moving our system around. Of course, the table frame. These are the vibration feet for the drive unit. This is the coil and the pole face for the drive unit itself, the spring banks. This is a, a flange mounted drive unit. You can see how it's a flat flange mounting here in comparison to some of our competition that does a toe mount, and we'll talk about that. And then these are our coils and our spring banks that you see here. All very strong welds throughout the drive unit in the base drive, and it also has a cross armless drive unit and you'll see that in other portions of the, our, our presentation as far as the cross armless drive unit but there's no cross arms underneath here so if you would happen to break a spring or need to replace the spring bank it's a very simple five minute changeover versus having to replace the bowl altogether and take this bowl off its structure you can very easily remove this spring bank and replace it without removing the feeder bowl itself we have other various examples of accessories that we utilize with the feed systems. This is an accelerometer that you see here. What that does is this measures the amount of, of weight and stress that is being uh, forced upon the springs. So if you fill up the vibratory bowl with parts, um, normally you would go over and turn the variac up to be able to speed that bowl up to give it more force in order to allow it to to get those, all that weight and all that product up and out of the bowl so that you could continue to run at a specific speed. But then you would have to turn that bowl back down because it's running too violent when you get low on parts and very low on weight. What this accelerometer does is it measures that weight and that stress on those springs and will compensate and it will speed up and slow down with the controller to allow for it to run at a consistent speed.